Hey, we back again. Hey. We got a special guest today, right? What? We got a pop up, right? This is a pop, pop up. up guest. That's how we do it at the G4 Lee Show, man. We just pop up with the, the best and the brightest, man. Facts. Before we get into who he is, people, how you doing today? Man, I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? Pop up days, man. I love them. <laughs> so you just in a never great know. Mood. You just you just never know who's gonna be at the G4 Elite show. Mm-hmm. Queen, how you doing? Well, I've been detoxed, it, man. No food whatsoever. So, uh, so you hungry? No. <laughs> if I get hungry, like I just drink my my drink. You so can, I drink you can it, be like, honest with hour. the people. No, I'm really not hungry. You're not hungry. No, no. Okay. I'm like, it's good. <laughs> 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 we got a special guest. We got Robert Peters today, y'all. Hey, Robert Peters is in the building. If you shout don't know who Robert Peters is. Robert Peters is a director. He's an entrepreneur. He has been in the film business, what, over 20 years? 25 years. 25 years. Wow. wow and going. Wow. So, big deal, man. Big deal. How you doing today, Rob? Shannon was my birthday a couple of days Talking ago. Talking to the microphone, this uh, it. was my birthday a couple of days ago. Happy birthday, Happy Robert. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy belated. I'm still like, woke up and they were like. <laughs> did you, did did you, you have a surprise? Drunk? Did you yeah, have a surprise party? I was notification on my Instagram. Oh. 10,000. All over the world, man. Hey. Oh, yeah. So it was fun. You just feel love. You feel blessed. Yeah. That everybody would take their personal space. Yeah. To celebrate you. Just goes to show that you're doing something something right. right. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, so we want you to live longer. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. That Shaq little brother, if y'all don't know, he looked like Shaq. You know what I'm <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I, I wish I had his money. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> well what we do here is we have different topics and um we go around the round table and we want you to chime in on some of the topics and give us your, your take on it. All right, you can do that. France, what we got? Well, let's talk about Floyd Mayweather and Paul, the fight that just was over Logan the Paul. weekend. Logan Paul? Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk about it. So, uh, I didn't watch it. You didn't watch it? No. I caught the highlights. Sleep. He caught the highlights. What y'all think about it? I think it was a good fight. Yeah. I can't. Did you watch it, Robert? No, I didn't watch it. You didn't watch the fight? I, sorry, guys. I'm not a big man with him. Okay. okay. Well, the fight was good. Uh, Mayweather did what he's supposed to do. The other guy, he survived, and they all got money. Yeah. That's, the, that's the end of the story. Yeah. I mean, to be to be to be short and skinny of it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I always tell people. I don't fight for free no more. It was just entertainment. Yeah, I have to get into a fight for you. You got to be money involved, man. How much money? Plenty money. <laughs> Plenty money. I, I'm a blessed man. I just need to be blessed more. Mm-hmm. Hey, I, I'm with you on that, Robert. Yeah, I feel I'm the same. Blessed. I'm blessed, yeah. and I want to be blessed more. Yeah, but I had so <laughs> many complaining about the fight. Though. People complaining. People about complaining. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they said they want their money back because the show. I it heard it froze. Was, like, yeah, I was about to say Showtime said so they give them. They give some, some people their money back. People, yeah. But it was because something happened. It, something like froze up, so they didn't get to see the whole fight. Okay, okay. But the fight wasn't, you know, again, it's an exhibition, though. So I don't know what people was thinking. It's yeah, not it's, a real fight. For some reason, I'm just caught up in that heavyweight category. <laughs> oh, your favorite fighter? Yeah. Favorite, I'll probably give it to Deontay Wilder. Heck yeah. yeah. Heck wow. yeah. yeah. I think he's coming back, though. He's going to yeah. fight uh, Fury. He's fighting Tyson Fury again. Yeah, Fury. Oh, boy. This, the fight that my homeboy. Uh, Joshua. Anthony Joshua? Joshua? Yeah. That's your homie? Yeah, he's from Nigeria, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is. He is. I forgot. And then he moved to England later on. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so uh, Fury is, 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 is... Fury is, nasty. You got to admit it. He it's nasty. Not, it's not a pushover. No, no. He's one of those guys that you don't want to get... get hell no. Nah. He, so who y'all think going to win the third, the third one? Fury. You think Fury going to win it? Yes. I'm going to give it to Wilder. I, I hope Wilder wins, but I think Fury I will, got it, bro. I'm going to give it I on Wilder. give it to Wilder. Wilder just need to... Be hungry. Go back to the drawing board and know how to... He don't know how to box. Fury is a boxer. Yeah, Fury is a boxer. We're going to see. 
I mean, I love Deontay Wilder. That's that man a lot got of conspiracies. 40. Yeah. Well, well. You see, the thing is that he has so much power in his hands. He got That's so it. much power, bro. He got no power. He got that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if Deontay Wilder hit him, he like the first fight, he knocked his ass out. It was a draw. It was a tie. But yeah. the second fight, Fury went in and they put yeah, the things yeah, no, on. Him. No, no, made a mess of it. It made a they mess of it. Yeah. If you ask me, I think he, he was said it was. They the said ass. He, he said all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Like, I think, yeah. He, all those stupid excuses he was giving. Just <laughs> He just yeah, so like, just take him up your mind and shut up. Yeah. You know but I hope Deontay, I've been saying he's doing like little combinations now, yeah. something different than the power this, punch. So this, he working, man. I hope he come back this good. This third time could go anyway. And you know, Fury is not is not pretty much stable. He has to. Yeah, he don't really care no more. Yeah, he has so he done did everything. He done did everything there is to do. Yeah. Who, Fury? Yeah. yeah. He's a champ. He got. He still. Got I, I think he said he don't even really want to fight him. He's like, I'm good. Nah, he been trying to get out that fight for a while. But well, Deontay, they they had a it's contract. A clause, a contract, yeah, he had bro. A contract. You can't run from that. But the fight I want to see is Deontay and Anthony Joshua. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Really Hell want yeah. to see that fight. Who yeah. you think gonna win that one? Deontay. Deontay would be everybody's sub. No, fight. I don't think so. Yeah, what? How you Joshua? gonna go to ask what? for him? Joshua has some fire. What's the music? Can swing that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Joshua. Yeah. You see that 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 Mexican boy, uh, what's his name? The one that beat Joshua, uh, yeah, Anthony and the, Jr. Yeah. Rose, yeah, yeah, yeah that's Rose. another guy that should be given a chance, man. That guy is a beast. He's gonna keep I, going. I agree. Yeah, he gonna, he gonna get he gonna get another shot. Joshua Why not? Wilder, he can go anyway, but yeah, I'll put my money on Joshua. Joshua is more disciplined. Okay, we'll see. Good shit. What else we got, France? What's going on in the world? Okay, so two of R. Kelly Lee. Attorneys allegedly filed paperwork to withdraw from his case. Wow. So his attorneys are like dipping out on him. Yeah. Right before. Yeah, because it's a federal case, so they don't want to be a part of it. You think something? You think they know something? Since when do lawyers just leave the case like that? Like, I never heard of that before. Yeah, it's crazy. Because I guess they didn't want to have that. Case. If there's the money that a lawyer supposed to be there, you know what I'm saying? They pulled out. Damn. How you feel about that, man? I who are Kelly. R. Kelly. I believe I can fly. You know the guy. The guy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know about all the stuff he's. Yeah, he's got some sexual sexual what, cases no, going no, on. No, no, I watch surviving. I am a big. I used to be a big R. Kelly fan until I was two. Yeah. yeah. You see, R. Kelly's problem runs deep. You understand? Yeah. He, he needs to go get help. He mm-hmm. has a mental problem. Mm-hmm. If you ask me, you know, do I believe that he did them? Hell yeah. You think he did it? Yes. <laughs> he did it. Yeah. yeah. I think he just need to start dealing with girls that's in their 20s. The thing is that if you just ask deal with, him, deal with girls in their 20s. The state that he's in right now is down too deep that he can get his life back together. Yeah. But yeah, he also, gone. when he was a kid, his sister was molesting him. Yeah, so it happens in the family. So it started like... Now that's people, that's, that's scientific, people. though, yeah. what yeah. you're talking about. That's yeah, scientific. You know, you know, people, was, so... Yeah, they, you, I don't know. That's the problem I have with Americans. We always, when somebody is bad, you look for a reason to explain why he's bad. Oh, uh, well. You see, I mean, <laughs> yeah, let's learn to take responsibility for our action. Yeah. yeah. He's an animal. Okay. He did some stuff. He's an animal. Yeah. You understand? You ain't supposed yeah. to be out here sleeping with young girls. They ask Everybody Michael, know that. They asked Michael Jackson, why do you behave the way you behave? He said, because Joe Jackson used to whoop them as a kid. If whooping will make children turn bad, I will be the worst child in the world. Yeah, because... <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, when I was in Africa, they used to beat us for what we do. That's what true, though, because I didn't got mine. But I think it made me a better person. Uh, so you have deficit. You have credit of being beaten up. Yeah, I, 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 I was somewhere last week, and they were teaching parents on how to deal with their children. You need to be sensitive with them. You need to listen to them. You need to ask them what they want to do so that you can play to what they want to do. When I was growing up, they warned us against our parents. They warned me against my mother. That, that woman could throw skillet from a mile away. Mm. You understand? Mm. So I needed to adjust to them. Not we adjusting to the kids these days. That's the problem we have in America. Yes, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Whether you got molested or not, hey, it stops here. You know what I'm saying? What yeah, you you don't should, need to be yeah, as an adult, you know that's not right. Shit. These kids don't know much. We need to guide them. Yeah. They, we need to guide them. They we need to direct them. Them. We need to tell them what to do. One of my friends whooped his kid and they told him they were going to take him to jail. You know what they told the police officer? Prince, go ahead, I take me to jail today so he won't go to jail tomorrow. 
So yeah, he won't so, do it again. Yeah. All right. Take me to jail today so that he won't go to jail tomorrow. All so, right. At the end of the day, especially we as black people, we need to be, we begin to understand where we come from. That's you true. Understand. You understand? We're from, we're from the, almost every black person in the world is from, is from the, the west coast of Africa. Yeah. That's where it originated. Yeah. The black person. Yeah, that's where you have the biggest slave trade, and we're the same people. I go to downtown Atlanta during Christmas. It's as if I'm in Lagos. So where yeah. do white folks originated? Where well, white folks no, originated? Man, you know the problem. You don't want to say anything about white people because they're scared as hell. President, they're scared <laughs> of the browning of America. <laughs> 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 yeah, they, they, that is their biggest problem. That was okay. why they went to the state capital. Yeah, okay. I, I feel for them because see, our gene is just too strong. Yeah, anything we touch turns to rust. You, you mess, you, you you merge with anything is black. Yeah, yeah, anything we touch turns to Asian, us. whatever, you black for sure. And it's even in the genetic code, mm -hmm. not even physically. Dominant code, yeah. Yeah, because naturally, that's why physically we're stronger. You yeah, you know, hey, right now in the UFC, we got y'all got like three African champions. Yeah. Three so of them. Oh, in the UFC? Oh, yeah, they going crazy. They going so, crazy. You got Francis Ngannou, uh, uh, Aljamain Sterling, not Aljamain, Kamaru uh, Usman, Kamar Usman, and um, uh, what's that dude's name? The, the heavyweight, heavyweight guy. The, the no, the style bender. Yeah. Israel bender. Adesanya. Yeah, he's Israel Nigerian. Adesanya, yeah. yeah. They going crazy. No, no, they going crazy. No, where I come from, we're built like a tank. You yeah. yeah. And they learn, they, learn, they learn ninjutsu, so that's crazy. It's just, at the end of the day, we just need to learn to use what is here more. We as black people just need to learn to understand the concept of nation building. Mm. We don't. We do. We as black people just begin to just need to begin to learn for the purpose of all. Mm. We're, 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 we're locked into individualism. Individualism keep us in a dark place. That's yeah. true. We need to begin to understand for the purpose of all. And we need to begin to understand that for the for the black for the black race to advance forward, the blacks in Africa and the blacks in America need to connect in their core of Megadon. That's it. Oh, for real? Yeah, we need to connect. We got to connect, there's bro. There's so much resources we have That's in African-American. There's a guy that I met. He's the head of the Black Chamber of Commerce. Man, when that guy went to America, that guy was growing the economy like that. I'm telling you, they put us Why? against because each other. Because understand the white money. That's it. Yeah. So, until we begin to use our brain and, and, and do, do more for ourselves and know that we need to do things that is for the betterment of all of us, but yeah. we're going to continue to, to, to lag behind. And most of the time, I always tell people, one of the biggest problems, I, I wanted to say African-American, but I've lived here for 16 years, so technically I'm an African-American. Uh, <laughs> we need to stop being in a place of protest. Okay. You understand? We need to understand that we're playing a game that we don't create the rule. Mm -hmm. So for us to be able to compete, we're going to be, we need to be twice as good. That's true. Because the Three odds, times is good. Yeah, because the odds against us are 30 to 1. Oh, so you saying, okay, so he's saying basically, like, you know, yeah, the white people don't really protest. They just, they just get shit popping. Thank the you. black people over here got them marching and destroying our own goddamn Atlanta property and cities and shit. The whole city. Yeah, 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 yeah. Atlanta, just whole, so yeah. We, yeah the we whole. Need, we need to begin to understand that, okay, we can do this thing. The odds against us as much, but it's still possible. Oh, yeah. And guess what? It's advantage black. Mm. Oh, yeah. Because in the year 2045, we're going to be the majority. Oh, what, black people? Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Think so? Yeah. The way we cross that is the fear. Yeah. The That's the fear of America. Yeah. That's why we're going through all this problem that we're going through presently. Oh yeah. That that was why there was an insurrection at the at the state capitol. Where? I know. It's a lot because going on. Yeah. We're positioning to be the majority. Well. I honestly, I didn't want to talk politics, but I did hear about Biden saying something like that on the low. He got caught saying some stuff, but that's the president now. I don't want to talk crazy. But he was like, man, well, listen, the they Biden, need to do Biden something has let a lot of people down. Everybody thought he was just going to be doing so great. He is not doing a good job right now. Biden is. That's my opinion. Biden is Biden. The thing <laughs> is that, see, there's a playbook that every country runs on. That's oh, it. shit. Yes. You're talking about world government shit. Yeah. So oh, there's yeah. There's a playbook that everybody, every country runs 
happened to him. That's I'm why sorry. we had a black president here. I'm sorry I, to say I love Barack to death, but the only thing Barack did for black people was that he gave us an opportunity to be proud. Hey. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't do much. <laughs> yeah, that's fast. Hey, he coming over here dropping jewels. Yeah, no, no. I'll hey. tell you guys the truth. You understand? Boom. He's a great guy. He's a likable guy. I love him, but he got a little swag. A little swag. He can't dance though. Yeah, he got a little swag. He got a little swag. But in my opinion, I don't think he was that president that we're waiting for. I think no. they, I think Clinton did 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 more for black people than black shit. People. Trump did. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Right. We, we ain't even finna go there. We gonna leave it alone. Oh, What's shit. another subject we got? Oh, oh, Robert trying to go. Get Robert, oh. this is a live oh. show, bro. This is the G Four L E show, man. That boy's trying to go deep today. Oh, yeah. oh, so what are we supposed to talk about? Booty. 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 booty, booty. <laughs> <laughs> ass man <laughs> who we got friend okay, what else so is going let's on let's just let's just skip all this and go to who he is you want to get straight to robert straight straight to robert man yeah i want to get robert, robert on the, the director yes, yes. is here robert let's talk about your beginning man how did you get started in the film man okay it was very crazy <laughs> you see my mother belonged to this church to a church yeah church yeah. okay they were having their end of year program. So the money that they were supposed to, for the end of year program, they buy a bag of rice and cook plenty for me. Mm -hmm. So I had this beautiful girlfriend there. Okay. She was really beautiful. She's still beautiful, I still. <laughs> my mother gave me money to go buy some bags of rice for their conference. And this girl came to town and I just spent all the money to show her a good time. So oh my God. I was looking for how to get the money back to make sure I saved the day. So. I was working with a radio station as a continuity announcer. I was not good enough to handle any show, so all I did was just sit at that radio station because I just graduated from the university. I, I went to school on time. I graduated by first degree. I graduated by first degree at 21. Okay. Uh, in Africa or in America? In Africa. Africa? Okay. Uh, so we couldn't go for There's something you do after you graduate from the university in Africa. You go to a military training for a year. It's called NYSC. Yeah, you got it. It's, like it's, it's mandated. It's by mandated. Military. Everybody got to go to the yeah. military yeah. for a year. Okay. You do full we scale, do that here. full scale military training. Fuck that. <laughs> so we were waiting to go for that training because we were delayed by six months. So I needed to get something to do. Started working at a radio station and somebody heard my voice and said, "Man, I think you'll be a good actor." I double into acting sometimes and. They told me they were doing a movie and they wanted an actor to play the Super Cup. And I told them, yes, I'll play. How much are you guys playing? Mm -hmm. And let me say, what would that be in dollars? It would be like $10,000 then. $10, that's not bad. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I said, man, if you guys pay me $10,000, I'll kill myself. <laughs> 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 They paid me, so the motivation at the beginning was the money. And I wanted to pay my mother back. And they, and they gave me $5,000 deposit. And literally, I almost killed myself. In oh the my God. He's what? like, I'm doing that everything. That movie ended up being one of the highest grossing films. Jesus. Oh, in Africa? Yeah. That's in dope. Africa. And wow. You're a whole celebrity there. Yeah. So I just graduated my first degree. I studied petroleum engineering, geology and petroleum engineering. Got a job with, with an oil servicing company. And it was a good job. But one thing I noticed that everywhere I go to, because of the good film I did, every time I go into a restaurant, there's somebody always paying my bill. I say, okay, this is good. <laughs> I like this. You understand? There's somebody always paying my bill. <laughs> Make sure you're talking to my bill. And yeah. I walk around town and so many people know who I was. I say, okay, this is good. I think yeah. I'll do this for the rest of my life. Then I went on, moved to Lagos, <laughs> Nigeria. Yeah. Start acting in films and, and that's how I got started. But from, from the very first film I made, I knew I was going to transition into filmmaking. Oh. And you just caught it early. Yeah, and I, I made up my mind that I was gonna to come to America, study film, then go back to Nigeria, get go back to Nigeria and make better films. But when I came here, 
I had a five-year plan. A five-year plan had turned into a sixteen-year plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care. That's what happened when you came to America, bro. I don't care what you guys think. I'm <laughs> this is hope. I'm happy you here. You American now. I'm happy you here. You American sure. Nigerian now. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I was blessed to the very first few films I made as a filmmaker were changed the trend of filmmaking and film distribution in Nigeria. No. At about the time I made my film 30 Days in Atlanta, films were not too bankable, but when I made it, imagine putting 100,000 into a film and the film going into about $5 million. Hell and yeah. We sold That's out. town 50. I'll we leave sold that. Out. I'll leave that right now. Sold out. <laughs> we sold out every cinema. Sold out. That was in Africa. We sold everything. Else. Jesus. So since then, I just that was the one you got the world's record from. Yeah, from that, that was the one that made it the Guinness Book. Of yeah, he's in the Guinness Book of World Records. Guinness Book of World Records, right so, here. Yeah. So since then, we we've just been, I've just been trying. Yeah, you can Google it. That's what's up. <laughs> I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let y'all do yeah, Google that so, shit. That's it. Since then, I've just been looking for the right stories. Like when I met him, he told me he wanted to make this picture. I didn't take him serious at the beginning. That's it. Yeah, understand. <laughs> and if you don't know, this is, this is this is the director of my movie, Meet the Snows, is coming out real one soon. I found out about him, and then, man, this nigga right here, <laughs> Spine of Steel. No, I'm he persistent. Had what? I'm a persistent. Spine of steel. Oh, it's my, oh yeah, hell yeah, yeah. I agree. Hell I want to yeah. do something. Hell happening. yeah, you, he don't fold or bend, uh, bro. And when I meet people like that, automatically became their friend, and I can comfortably call him a friend. That's my boy. We, we chat and talk from time to time. Oh my God. Because I, I see people that are going in the direction that I'm going. My ultimate goal is to just find the right story and make the best films. You understand? And he shares the same vision. And, and man, this is just the beginning, man. Just the beginning. Yeah, we're taking over, man. We're going to shoot that <laughs> to Alabama. Oh, shit. He said, we're taking over. What you got, Pompey? You got any questions? Man, listen, I'm hearing you going crazy on the films. Like, you say you got like what? Four already on Netflix, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just got four. Yeah, if I count Mid the Snow, I think we got six coming before the end of the year. Six before the So that's going to be a total of ten. He's been going crazy on Netflix, yeah. man. Before the end of the year, you're going to have ten movies on Netflix? Is that what you just said? Yeah, and presently, by today, one of my films was number one in Africa. Uh, that's it. Yeah. What's the name of that movie? It's called Small Chops. Small Chops. Small Chops. Number one, man. We gotta clap for the number one. Salute. So you one of the top Nigerian directors right now? I'm considered, but I, I choose not to see myself that way. I choose to always see myself as an underdog because it keeps you on there. You understand? Don't. Always see yourself as an underdog. But I am loved and respected. So you got some. That, that makes me feel good sometimes. I don't dwell on it. I I try to be an underdog, man. <laughs> yeah. What you and got, got for us, friends? Got any other questions? I'm just sucking at everything. <laughs> I'm just at everything. Yeah. Who are you want to work with, man? Who are what's what's next for you, man? Who are would, if you had your dream? Uh, role, who would you like want to do some do some business with right now? Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not like all those filmmakers that want to work with a big name. I want to work with the less hungry guy. Okay. So that we can make something big. Man. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. I, I, I love it. Yeah. Love that energy. I've man. worked with a couple of Hollywood actors. I've worked with Eric Roberts. Uh, That's right. Instance, Vivica A. Fox. Like, nah, Go ahead. Give us some names. Give us some names. Name with, drop. Man. Go on, name drop. Come yeah, on. Vivica Fox. Lee okay. Miguel Nunez and all that. But presently where I'm at, I'm just looking for that that fresh, hungry actor that's trying to take the world at last time. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm waiting for. Hey Robert, if you just want me on your movie, just say it, bro. I'm yeah, here, I'm right here. Just, like you want that young man, hungry we got like four other movies. You said you like my through. acting already, <laughs> Robert. I'm right here. What you talking? I you know what I'm yeah, <laughs> if that's what you want, just say it. Let's you go. Right here. Right, <laughs> here, right here, right here, right here. You work with you work with him before. How's he on set? How's it's, P boy? It's, it's, Pretty good. It's pretty consistent. I think you got something good to work. France is so funny. Yeah. Like this, I appreciate it, bro. I just like you to see this guy right here. Yeah, he starts my movie. I swear to God, like him, he opens the damn movie. 
movie because yeah, I like his big head. I only get to see how he is here. So yeah, you'll see a whole different people. Yeah, this so. one was brilliant all through. It yeah, was, it was, they did a good job. It was solid too. So <laughs> they're good. I think it's gonna be yeah, a great we, film. We, we can't wait to share that picture with the world. Do you understand? Oh, I'm yeah. currently working on it, man. It is us trying to do a very big thing in a small way. Right. You understand? Yeah, but at the end of the day, when we sent it to the colorist, the colorist told me, man, Rob, this is a big budget movie. I said, okay, I'm this telling. is all. You understand? And this colorist is one of the two people that 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 designed DaVinci Resolve. And it's been edited by... <laughs> you can't hey. see it right now. My boy hey. edited it. Hey. You know, he's the G4 Elite, he's in the G4 Elite program, you know what I mean? We going yeah. crazy. Yeah, at the end of the day, what we're just trying to do is just touch the world from our little space. That's it. And presently it's happening, you understand. When people give me accolade and people give me respect, I don't see it as a destination. I just see it as if I'm traveling on the right road, man. I'm going to be like Woody Allen, man. I'm going to, work, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make Don't be nice. like Woody Allen. Don't date, don't date <laughs> no, the not, younger. Not in <laughs> I'm just saying that if y'all know who Woody Allen is, y'all know the joke. I'm going to make movies into my 80s, man. That's what's yeah, up. Man. Yeah, at 80, I'm still going to be directing films. And it's so funny, though. I was talking to her about a reality show. So what France wants to do, she wants to do a reality show about dating France. Yeah. And I was telling her that you do reality shows. Yeah. So I got to get y'all two together on this whole reality show thing. Okay. He'll be the perfect person to shoot it because yeah. he already shot one already. I made uh, one yeah. that's going on Netflix. Yeah. Oh, it's, okay. Go ahead, talk about it. Yeah, it's called My African talk Love. About it. It's about this African socialite, hey. celebrity socialite that's just trying to find love. And, and, and we need to find France love. Yeah, I need to, like, yeah. I'm single, guys, hit them up. <laughs> hit the G4. We're gonna do hey, trust me. We're going to get, get France some love. Can, can somebody yes. please date her? She's crazy, man. Y'all got to make her sane a little bit. I don't know. They got to settle her gotta down. Do like, how, yo, she crazy. She needs a, you need a man. How can you somebody, say like, let's get the date. He just don't listen to him. He <laughs> nah, she's she's amazing. I just can't. I just I just play. She's amazing. I love friends. One thing I was telling people: relationship does not make you happy. Sometimes, what makes you happy? Sometimes it comes. You make you happy, bro. Yeah, you make you happy. You, you make you happy. You. Nobody can make yeah, you happy. I makes myself happy. Are you hey. happy? Hey. Hey. I always tell people: don't make it a do or die affair. If it happens, good. If it does not happen, just keep moving. Facts. Big big facts. Just keep moving. That's the problem we have in Africa. We have women going to churches, giving money to pastors, because those pastors are telling them that we're going to pray for you and you're going to get a husband. Pray for a husband. And at the end of the day, you get that husband and you guys are fighting all through. Is that not a lie? No. That's not a lie. Yeah. You just want to pray for that connection. And believe me, we have a society that says that you must be with somebody. No, you, must no, you don't. Yeah. That is I not mean, true. There's one thing that should be very important to you: your happiness. Happiness. That is true. You ain't, love yourself. I heard that. Love yourself. I was I was at a church program with a friend, and the pastor said that there are some people battling depression here. Can you please step out? And the guy that was sitting next to me told me, "Man, I battle depression, man." I think everybody back to depression. Do you back to depression? I say, hell no, I'm afraid to die, man. <laughs> I don't want to die. Facts. Yeah, because, I'm happy about being yeah, alive. Because life is life is good to me because of the way I've conditioned my mind. Do I have everything right? No. But I am blessed to the point that I don't think of what I drive. I don't think about how my bills bills are paid. Yeah. I don't think about money. I don't stay up all night thinking about money, and I, I feel blessed. It's moving, and man. I, and I pray that my life remains like that, okay. where I have enough to take care of everything that I want to take care of. So the only prayer that I'm praying now is that you know, let the millions of dollars begin to come. So that's it, man. Where can we find you? Where can the people get in contact with Robert Peters? Where can they, if they want to reach you to try to do a movie, to be in a movie, to just celebrate you? Where can they reach you? Yeah, Robert O. Peters, Instagram. Robert O. Peters, Facebook. IMDB. I, IMDB, just <laughs> Google Robert O. Peters and you'll see my Wikipedia page, my IMDB page. And uh, I don't do Instagram that much, so don't be angry if you send me a message. And, <laughs> and, uh, it's just because I don't know how it works sometimes. 
times. <laughs> yeah, people do Instagram live all my life. I've only gone live twice. Uh, twice. Yeah. Super so, popular, yeah. super famous. I'm still, Robert Peters. I'm Robert still Peters. trying to figure it out, but uh, presently my focus is making pictures and making good pictures. Yeah. And uh, I'm part of G4 Elite. He's hey, part hey, of the G4 Elite. Hey, hey, hey. So if you go on my website, you're going to see G4 Elite. That's one it. Of my associates. Meet the hey. Snow is coming out real soon. I'm telling you, Robert yeah, Peters. Yeah, yeah. He produced it. He's the director. He man, listen, it's crazy. Guy, no, you're dude, the producer. I, I, I executive, hey, executive produced it. Produce. Right. Yeah. I executive produced it. He directed it. It's just going crazy. I'm going just crazy. He on the show. So, yeah, it's it's uh, mid the snow is a gift from us to you. That's it. Yeah, uh, it's you're gonna love it. <laughs> Don't tell him too much. We keep it <laughs> the G4 Elite show, man. Yeah. People, where can we find you? Hey man, you can find me at precise one on one underscore stay on it. That's P R E S I S E one on one underscore stay on it. Instagram. Friends, friends with hey, friends. what's up? You can find me on IG and Facebook at official queen friends underscore. Facts. And you can follow the G4 Elite Show on Facebook under the G4 Elite Show on YouTube, G4 Elite Show, and Instagram, G4 Elite Show. If you're looking for me, I go by Measy Numbers. If you're looking for Ivan, he's behind the scenes. <laughs> if you're looking for Robert Peters, he's everywhere. And that's the show, y'all. We'll see y'all. Peace. Peace out.